If my husband were to send a text message to an ex-housewife who did a podcast, like, I would be like, you have got to be kidding me. Get busier. Speaking of things that got messy, this whole thing with Jim Edmonds and the wedding invitation, kind of walk me through this. Like, I know that you're not going to reveal who gave you the wedding invite, but like you got a hold of it, decided to talk about it. And then this whole thing just blew up. Were you ever expecting this? Well, I mean, I think the most offensive thing about the texts or anything was the really letting me have it over the spelling of Courtney's name. I'm like, I am so, I have no, I mean, come on. It was such a, like a joke. And here's the thing. You can't be named James and then have a Jim Bond thing. I mean, a James Bond themed wedding and it not be, you know, but I didn't get a hold of it. Someone sent it to me and sent it to me in a group. A bunch of people were on the same thing. And then Courtney, K-O-R-T-N-I-E, which I learned, posted it herself. So please. Were, were you surprised? Were you, were you shocked that he reached out to you when you saw those like DMs or text messages? Were you like, I can't believe this is really happening right now? I actually wasn't shocked because from everything that I saw of him on Orange County, it kind of just played right into exactly who I thought he was. Mm -hmm. And it's someone that, take a joke. I mean, take a joke. It, at this point, and Megan had nothing to do with it. She came in, I had just gotten sitting it. I'm on a podcast where we talk crap. I mean, that's what the, the podcast is. and. You know, this over the top invite came and I saw it and made a joke of it. And that, that is what it is. But I, I don't know what he expected me to respond mm -hmm. and why it became such a dramatic thing, especially when she'd already posted it. And his guests had already posted it, which is how I got it. Do you think he was probably just mad because Megan was involved in it as well? I think um, he likes to get his own way. And he wants, he uses a scare tactic in hopes that you'll back down. But once he started texting, I was fine with the original text because I had already known he was upset because he called my reps, he called, let him, but he had his reps call. And the reason I suggested Courtney's welcome to come on the pod was because his reps said that. Teddy, Courtney, you know, could come on the pod and they could talk about it. But I, I would have never come up with that idea myself. Like she wasn't on the show. There was no reason for that. I was just, I was giving an olive branch. Sorry you didn't take the joke. I'm willing to have her on. I have nothing against Courtney. It, I don't, I don't even know Megan more than the podcast. I mean, it is what it is. Like it's, you know. Is she, still was, welcome, is she still welcome to come on the podcast? Courtney? Yeah. Sure. I mean, if you can laugh at yourself, I laugh at myself consistently. I can be annoying over the top, all the things, talk with my hands, like come at me guys. But the only thing I didn't like was a man talking to a woman like that when, what did, what did you want? And then I was like, you know what? I have the option where I can just keep going back and forth with him or I'm just going to post what he said. And you know what? It made him stop. Yeah. Yeah, did you hear from him since you posted it? No. No. Do you think he'll ever get an apology? No, absolutely not. I mean, the same way that like, it is what it is. I, I, I just, if he's willing to talk to a complete stranger like that, I, you. Would you, would you ever go to a James Bond themed wedding? <laughs> Of course, I would go, I mean, I would go to the opening of an envelope. I am not judgy. I'm just, I'm not above anything. I just thought it was funny. Like, I really thought it was one of those like, eh. I mean, I'm, it's like, we all make mistakes or we all say things that can be, that we think are brilliant ideas, but then some people may not, it's okay. Yeah, what did you, you think of, watch, I mean, you know, like you said, you know, you watch back all the housewives and you, you watched OC, her season with Jim. What did you make of their marriage back then? I mean, Vicky was right. Jim, talk to me in five years when you're divorced. Yeah, she's not gonna last another four years. Vicky was right. And if, if you're really getting that, I mean, if my husband were to send a text message to an ex-housewife who did a podcast, like, I would be like, you have got to be kidding me, get busier. Because right. remember, this is my job, one of my jobs. I'm being paid to talk about the world of housewives. It's not gyms. So why are you getting so involved? 
Right. Why are you still in it? Yeah. No, like, why are you still good. in it? Like what? And I mean, he reached out to a lot of people that I know. So it's, I mean, he was on one. Yeah. I wonder if he ever found out who it was. I'm sure they were disinvited. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't even know who it was. I don't know the person. So, I mean, you get sent stuff all, I mean, I don't even know what to believe. There's stuff consistently, but I, that's why I was like, did you know? Because right. I got sent to, I didn't, I don't follow Courtney or Jim. So I wasn't aware when they were getting married or anything. I don't know the history of their relationship. Who would have thought it would blow up to to be this, right? Oh, it's like everything. <laughs> I, my family's even calling, are you okay? We saw the text messages you got. I'm like, at this point, I've developed a pretty thick skin, mm -hmm. but I, I did want it to stop. Yeah, well, and, and as soon as you posted it, then they stopped. Then it stopped. Then it stopped.